Just played to Matthew Booth. A long ball forward for Daniel Modell. It's a goal! What a start by Sundowns! Daniel Mabush Modell continues his brilliant run of form in terms of scoring goals. That is goal number 13, number 10 in the Premiership for Daniel Mabush Modell. Captain Fantastic set that Sundowns up to a dream start. William Abara beaten. The pace of Modell took him clear here. And wow, Abara beaten. And it's Sundowns one. All on the Pirates nil. Can the Jamaica come in clear now? And I don't know why that is. What a start for Sundowns. I still, I still can't hear myself. Lovers Musala. Still Musala. Good work here by Lovers Musala. Kampamba has a shot. Daniel Modau strike in the second minute. Matthew Booth got a head to that. Oh. Okpara again called into question there. He's furious with his markers. Matthew Booth, solid header from Matthew Booth. And Okpara had to be at his best. It's coming again. Now the shot. about that delight for Ted Dimitru and all in sundry on the pie on the sundown bench gift Kampamba gets a second he wanted another touch here's Villagaz nice little ball here for Abizela who shoots wide Bulele Mabizela Legazi and on him immediately. Munez has some space here for Brendan Silent. Comes to Manyatela. He has a strike. Didn't get a hold of it though. Leslie Manyatela, slow poison, they call him. 13 goals in 18 matches for the Buccaneers. And couldn't add to Silent. Now Manyatela, can he latch onto this one? Good work by Manyatela. Pizella's cross and Villagazi! Spectacular effort by Jan Benedict Villagazi! See, they're not picked up. And Canelo got down right to make the save. Such a dangerous player, Benedict Villagazi. Held in silent, but Pizella's made a run down the right hand side. Nice little ball threaded in here, could be a chance for Villagazi! Who else? Who else? Who else? Leslie Magnatella, 14th goal in the Premiership. My word, this man is unstoppable. Great work again here by Villagazi. And it's set up Magnatella for the easiest chance. He doesn't miss from that range. And Ronnie Cananella has been injected with a slow poison. of Leslie Magnatel. Great work by Villagazi to start that move on. And uh, once again, are dishing it up this afternoon. Good ball from Magnatela. Could be a chance here for Mapizela. And then we're going to Oh, that was close. Joseph Marke just couldn't latch onto that one. Great ball. In fact, the referee's whistle has gone. There's a player down in the Pirates' half. Let's look at this ball from... Uh, Mapizela, I think it did take a deflection on its way in. That's why I think it's a corner. Cananela beaten. 
Manella looking really dodgy coming out for that one. Sundown studying it at the back again with Booth here. Nice little ball here for Modau, could be trouble. The long one from Mopara. Manjacela chest it down nicely for Lucky. Now Liquilia. Second time we've seen him try from one from range. Sign of a man not low on confidence. Mabizela. Nicely won. This could be a chance here for Benedict Villarreal. Shot straight at the keeper. Again, they managed to open up that Sundown's defense. Clever dummy there. Teasing Komani. Now Papela here. Could be another chance. Oh, just wide. Alex Papela. Glorious opportunity there. And he just puts it wide of a Paras right hand upright. Sundowns look to carry on attacking. And then Yamanya Teller with a glancing header. But a fancy, a fancy Ronnie Cananello had that one covered. But great awareness shown there by by Magnatella, very away away he is. Comes to Ramupuru. Something on here for Sundowns. Kampamba's cross. Could be Denta Modau. Oh, he's shot wide. Oh, glorious opportunity there for Daniel Modau. It's a good ball here from Kampamba. Over the head of Komani. And Modau fires wide on the volley. Komani very quick on to his man there. Steve Liquili here. Could be trouble here. Let's see Magnatella. Is this an equalizer? No, Magnatella didn't get a hold of it. That was a well worked move there between Liquili and Magnatella. Just wouldn't sit up for him there. Came onto his left boot and didn't quite get a hold of it. Yeah, now could be a chance here for Sundown, the ball blow it. Jeez, the defenders didn't know where the ball was there for a minute. Sundown's unable to latch on to the loose ball. Look at the corner again, Opara coming out. And there the ball just... Bapela now, Kampamba, something on here. Shot is blocked by Komani. Now Ramupuru from range, nowhere near though. Savandra Mapuru has got one goal in the league so far. 22 year old midfielder. Another one of this young, one of the young guns that has been brought, Lebesi. Knocking it around nicely, our Pirates now. Trying to carve open the Sundowns defense. Lequelia didn't get a hold of that one, it was Lebesi in fact. Bit of a toe punch from him. See, as Pirates try to pry open that, uh, but now he's been caught in possession by Lavas Mosala, and there could be trouble here. Daniel Modau, is this a third? Oh, it's come on the upright. Oh, that is desperately, desperately unlucky. But... Now the change about to happen here. Sundowns about to make the first save. There is the attempt by Modau, so unlucky, and uh, the rebound just didn't fall nicely for him. And that Ngomen is also standing over it here. How do they work this one? Nikolia goes on his own. That's one of that's not that's not one of his best though. Sundown's desperately unlucky. It could so easily have been three goals up now. Three three goals to one but very, very unlucky. For Pirates, a little bit too many touches in that final third of the pitch, and that's where they're letting themselves down. I think there's a lack of movement up front for them as well. They need people to make good runs, wide runs, and then whip balls into the box. Yeah, certain downs certainly have tightened things up at the back. Matthew Booth, solid as ever. 
And this is why Pirates are being forced to play the extra touches there in the final third, as they should say. One as, as said of, uh, or one aspect of um, Manyatela's play that he doesn't get credit for is the way he lays off balls as well for his teammates. Now it's Sundowns on attack and Mudau! Oh, that is an amazing goal! That is a super, super, super strike by Captain Fantastic Mambush Mudau! Carefully don't drop that youngster! But what a goal, Daniel Mudau! That is top drawer stuff from the Sundowns' all time goal scorer, leading goal scorer, Daniel Mudau! With the second of the game, restores Sundowns two goal, Kosh Kushin, and Mapara has been beaten, hands down. That is a super strike by Mudau. We'll have to go a long way to find. Good work by Komani, he's had a great game. Now, Libisi. Here's Libisi, great run from Libisi. Chance for Magnatello! Just couldn't get a foot onto that one. Gajon must be asking himself what he has to do to beat Sundown. That's good work by Tabang Libisi. Just arriving a fraction of a second too late. So with five minutes to go in this game, Sundowns leading by three goals to one. Deshibak Tower is there away back in this game for Sundowns. Sundowns now, they've got to keep possession. For Pirates, they've let penetration up front all afternoon. Still not over yet, anything could happen. But if it stays this way, wouldn't this result please Santos? It's a result that will please Santos and it will definitely please Sundowns. Because they'll be within two points of Pirates with a game in hand. Chai's ball is too close to Okpara. Matthew Booth solid as a rock at the back. Five minutes to go. Pirates, if they have to come back into this game and get anything out of this game, they must do something and do it quickly. Shy. Easily dispossessed by Zoa. Papi Khoman. So Villagazi with a bit of space. Ngomeni. Villagazi kept running, but Manzini wins it back well. No one, no one up front there for Sundowns. Ngomeni. Here's Liquelia. Can he produce a bit of magic now? Makanga has given it away. Could be trouble here. Good work by Zoa. Closing down quickly. Ngomeni's first touch let him down there. Now, Sundowns playing with confidence, bordering on arrogance now. Here's Mabizela. Tried the first time shot. Come across. There was no one in the area anyway for Pirates. So, Bruni Cananela content to watch it go behind for a goal kick. Mbulela Mabizela. The Pirates faithful are now leaving the ground. I think they believe they've been beaten this afternoon. And while I reckon they could be right, with just four minutes to go now. There are strange occurrences in football. Can Pirates score three goals in three minutes? Now Levesi. And Teller just looking to tee it up again for Levesi. Kampamba. Now Nunes. Now Sponga Vankenshof. 
Shall you wide on the left hand side? Good looking volley offside flag. There's the flag has stayed down. Could be a chance for Mohamed Naruset. Can he finish it off? Oh no! Oh Naruset! Oh, what an opportunity wasted. The flag stayed down. Could be trouble for Sundowns on the other hand. Yes, Vilagazi. Looking to take on Skuman. Skuman holds his ground. Good turn by Vilagazi. Still going. Now Liquelia. Steve Liquelia. Chance for Manatello. The flag was up though. Wouldn't have counted. Oh. That was a great strike though on the volley by Manatella. But he was offside. Oh, that he struck that well. Came off the back of Mosala. Away by Manzini. And the referee Jonas and Sapa blows this game to an end. And Sundowns have done it again. They complete the double over Pirates. Once again, they put three goals behind them. They put three goals past them. And they've got a valuable three points. Sundowns now move up to fourth position, leapfrogging Sundowns or some Morocco Solos. They've now got 47 points. And I tell you what, this is going down to the wire, this title chase. We don't know what's happened down in Cape Town where Santos, or rather in Petersburg where Santos were training against Ria Stars. So it's been a fantastic afternoon's football. It's ended Sundowns 3, Orlando Pirates 1.